I have my donuts, Dr. Romano missed out. Let's see what he's up to now. Hi, Dr. Romano. I'm back. I have my donuts. They were good. How are you? I was working on a nice nomenclature question for my that study group I'd like to go over with you. Whoa, Dr. Romano, that looks scary. The first thing you would do in a problem like this is there's multiple functional groups here. There's an acid, there's an alcohol, there's a ketone, there's an amine group, there's an aromatic group. The first thing we've got to never forget is the carboxylic acid as the highest priority of all the functional groups you'll ever likely see in your entire life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we know it's an octanoic acid. My best recommendation for you is to let's see what the, all the different functional groups are. Well, first of all, number three we know is a hydroxy group because it's an OH group. If, if you see a carbonyl group, that's gonna be called oxo. The NH2 is gonna be called an amino group. And this group, which most kids would get wrong, is called the benzyl group. So as you can see, in alphabetical order, the A comes first. So I'm gonna start off by calling this five amino. After the A, we're gonna to go to the B, and we're gonna see that on the number six carbon is benzyl. And then on number three, we have an H, so that's gonna come next, a three hydroxy, and then four oxo, and we have octanoic acid. So there you're gonna look and we see we have a five amino, six benzyl, three hydroxy, four oxo octanoic acid. Remember whenever you do these problems is to number it first. That takes the priority over everything. After you number the chain, you then worry about alphabetizing all the groups that come off. Um, if you can do this one, you will easily conquer the debt. Um, these guys aren't geniuses making up the DAT exam, and I assure you, you're not going to see anything this hard. If you can do this, you're good to go. So this will give me my 30, Dr. Romano? Well, don't forget the 30 and just worry about the basic concepts, and then we click along. All right, I'm going to say good day to you, and next time I'll put up some, maybe a deep man that we'll be looking at. Okay, good day to you. Good day to you, sir. Thank you. I'm thinking 30.